Welcome everyone, my name is Jessica and this is Simple, Cheap and Easy DIYs. Make sure you watch my last home makeover episode after you watch this episode. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a floor makeover in this bedroom number one, as well as fixing one of the doors that won't close. Now originally this was looked like it was one large room, but behind that first door they added a bathroom and behind that second door they added a closet and that's why the windows aren't centered in the room as well as they did add this built-in shelf and this is whoever owned the home before uh, but it does have a fairly large closet and we're going to be doing the uh, closet as well in a later video right now we just have all of the baseboards and trim stored in there Now it does have this full brass um, chandelier light. It looks like the original bulbs in it as well. And again, the reason it's off-centered in the room is I believe they actually added in that additional bathroom. And we do have to do some work on the ceiling from a previous leak from the upstairs air conditioner. Um, but this door here, it actually won't close. Um, so I'm going to be showing you a little bit later how we actually were able to get that door to close without having to replace it because these are solid wood doors with the original 1900, early 1900s um, doorknobs and so forth. So I didn't really want to replace those. But for the flooring, there was originally this blue shag carpet. Um, and then this is a window above the door. Right now it won't open, but we're gonna see if we can go ahead and get that fixed because I actually like that feature. And now I'm just gonna show you a little bit around the room just so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, and up in the top, there's actually two storage uh, areas that we're gonna have to fix as well. And as well in this room, uh, like the living room, it does have the original stained glass for both of the windows. Now to fix the door, we're going to be using this hand planer that we got from Home Depot. And as you can see, the top of the door is pretty bad um, where it's been rubbing and then with all the layers of paint, I think that has some to do with the reason it won't actually close. Um, so my husband's just going to take that planer and go across the top of the door to help smooth that out. It is fairly easy to do and it is a lot better than us having to replace the door because we won't get anything with this good of quality um, cheap since these are original all wood doors. Don't forget to mention just for kind of a reference on the other side of this doorway is actually the entryway hallway and then on the other side of that that is where our living room is located so once you come from the front front door um, on one side we have this bedroom and then on the other side is the living room. And once he got all the door shaved down, um, it does close now and don't mind the dirty door. We've got to uh, sand that down and repaint it as well. Uh, but this is now what the top of the door looks like and the door closes perfectly and then we're going to be sanding down the entire door though and cleaning and repainting it but now at least the door does close we still have to figure out what to do about the bathroom door because the bottom of that is messed up so i don't know if we're going to be replacing or trying to fix it but i did get the staple remover and i'm just going to start removing all of the staples out of the floor that way we can start putting down the new tile. And they did use a lot of staples in this floor, so this was a little bit time consuming, but this is just to give you an idea of how we remove them. Once all the staples removed, we're gonna start removing all of the um, carpeting strips from around the room. Um, and get those removed off that way we can start cleaning the floor to install the new tile Now we still have to clean paint the walls and everything But we just wanted to get the floor down that way We would have a clean space to walk on because these floors were pretty bad 
um, and then we're going to work on the remainder of the room. But once we get all the strips and everything removed and the floor swept and clean, we're going to take these 12 by 12 sticky tile, um, which is the peel and stick tile, just going to be peeling the back off and then placing them um, on the floor. You always want to make sure that the arrows all point the same direction. It is a little bit difficult for me doing it with just one hand while I'm recording. It is a lot easier if you're using both your hands, but we're just going to start placing the tile down. And then once we have them, um, a couple of them in place, we're actually going to take a roller like you've seen us use in the first home makeover video and just roll those to press the adhesive down into the floor. And here's um, the roller that I was talking about where we're actually going to be rolling those down. And we may actually end up having to use some of the stick and stay um, glue because these floors um, are pretty dirty as you can see. And we really didn't want to replace all of that plywood since we're just going to be covering it up anyway. Um, so like I said, if the tiles aren't sticking for us, we're going to use some of the stick, uh, stick and stay uh, glue to adhere it. But if you have clean, fresh floors, you won't have to use that on yours. Um, and here we are just lining up the second one and going down the line. And here in a moment, we're gonna realize that the room is not completely square. So we did have to reposition them um, to get them to line up. But once we did that and got it repositioned, this is what it looks like, almost completed. There is a small strip around the sides that we didn't have enough to complete because of the room being not completely square and having to cut some of them, we didn't have quite enough. So I did have to order those, but I'm just gonna place those around the side. But overall, the, for the most part, it is completed. We may end up changing it in the future, but for now, I'm happy with it because it's clean and it'll give us a clean floor to actually start working on the rest of the room. Next in this room, once we get the tile in, we're gonna complete that, and then we'll start working on the baseboards and the walls and the window frames and get that done. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this flooring and make sure you stay tuned. We'll be having more videos coming up for the home renovation, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know would you keep this or go with something different in the future, as well as what color walls you think we should go for in this room. This will be our temporary bedroom until we start getting more of the house done. Also, just a little update, I'll be having more videos coming out shortly as well for the completion of the living room with the baseboards and the walls.